Kvinder fra hele verden, hvor den weekend samlede København, for at diskutere kvinders rolle i internationale missioner. Konferencen var planlagt af den amerikanske ambassadør i Danmark, Laurie Fulton. A lot of people think of soldiers when we think of global security, or maybe men sitting around a big briefing table. But I believe global security starts at the local level. If the local communities are secure and stable, then the country is going to be secure and stable. And if the countries are secure and stable, the globe, the world is going to be secure and stable. So that's the idea. It's global security with a broad view. Uh, and a broad view of how important women are at every level. Ikke mindst missionen i Afghanistan har åbnet en helt ny tilgang til kvinder i militære operationer. They can work with the women of Afghanistan. The males cannot work with the with the women because of the culture, societal norms. The women can, and the women can build those the strong bonds with the women of Afghanistan and help that that group of individuals with things issues such as literacy, jobs, um, educations itself. Uh, making themselves into better, stronger women, so that they can be the role models for the next generation of Afghan uh, women and children that are growing up in the country. Behovet for at komme i kontakt med de afghanske kvinder har fået amerikanerne til at oprette særlige kvindeenheder, der arbejder med de afghanske kvinder. Emily Naslund er netop kommet hjem fra Sydafghanistan, hvor hun ledede et hold kvindelige marinesoldater med fokus på kvinderne i de afghanske landsbyer. The company that I took out in March was the first permanent full-time female engagement team that deployed. Um, we had 16 teams that were operating throughout Helmand Province, all in direct support of um, ground units. And uh, we have since redeployed. There is another team that has gone out there and has taken over the mission. They'll be there until March, and you should be able to. We'll see a, a continuing of, of uh, deployment of those. Going into it, there was a lot of unknowns, even from a commander's perspective. I uh, didn't really know how successful they would be, but it, it has absolutely been a, a positive outcome. I think it's benefited the ground commanders, and uh, it comes out in their responses to um, basically what they've seen the teams are capable of. Men hvor meget indflydelse har de afghanske kvinder egentlig i det segregerede muslimske samfund? Er de værd at satse på? Moms have a lot of influence. Um, that's one reason I believe the Taliban want to uh, bomb schools, is not to educate women. Therefore, if moms do not educate, mom doesn't know. If mom's educated, she's going to guide and, and steer her children into the right direction. And the direction is not with the Taliban, but in growing the country of Afghanistan. So I think mom has a lot of say in, in the household itself. It may not seem that way on the outside, but it's really there. <laughs> I'm not really getting the hang of it, but... <laughs>